The final thing I wanted to talk about was rewriting the output of fields. This is one thing that I wished was a little bit easier to do in Drupal 8. If you used the views module in Drupal 7, then you know that if you select fields as the display type, then you can click a box to rewrite the output of that field. You can include content from other fields in it. You can add HTML. And through this, you can bypass having to use templates to override the HTML output of content. And there are additional modules that you may be familiar with that allow you to do similar things like display suite and panels. Most likely, if you have this need to be able to adjust the output of fields through the user interface, you'll end up using one of those modules. But there's one way to affect the output of fields in a content display through just using the views module. The idea is, if we go back to our site, and I'm gonna unclick the edit link here and close the toolbar. Right now we're at node slash one. And let's say what we wanna do is to take the location of the article and we want to rewrite it so that it says, I was posted and then the location. If we just work through the content type field settings, we're not gonna find a way to do that. But what we can do is add a block to every node page and in that block, embed a view that displays particular fields from our content. And then we can hide those fields by default on the content display. So I'm gonna take us partway through that process just so you can get an idea of how it works. So I'm gonna to go to manage and then structure and views, and I'll create a new view. We'll call this content replacement. And we'll select create a block. And in display format, we're going to select fields. And for items per block, we'll put one and click save and edit. And we want to associate the content of this view with the node page that we're currently on. So what we need to do first is add a filter, a contextual filter. I'm gonna close out the toolbar here. And we'll do a search for ID and we'll select node ID. Now the node ID will be available to the view even if the path is rewritten for the actual piece of content. And we'll demonstrate that in a moment. I'm gonna click apply all displays and I'll click apply all displays again. Right now we have just one field title if you scroll down here and we add a contextual filter and we put in one and we click update preview, we'll see cat roll evolved. If we put in two and click update preview, nothing will display. That's because we don't have a piece of content with the node ID two yet. So now let's add a field and we'll search for location and we'll check it and click apply all displays. And in the rewrite results here, we'll override the output of this field with custom text. We'll find the replacement pattern for our content We'll put field location here. If you're used to using views in seven, the structure of these replacements have changed a little bit to be in line with replacement values in the twig templating system. And we'll put, I was written in, and then we'll just wrap this with strong tags. Then I'll scroll down and apply all displays. Now, if we replace this preview with one, an update preview, we're still only going to see the title because we haven't edited the location yet. I'm gonna open up our article in a new tab and I'll click edit and in the location, I'll put New Mexico and click save and keep published. Now, if we go back to the view and we go update preview, it will say I was written in New Mexico. Now this isn't complete. We would want to add any fields we would wanna display for the content page, but this will at least serve the purpose. I'll go ahead and click save and now we need to add the block. So we haven't talked about the blocks interface yet. We'll get to that in a moment. So this might look a little strange if you haven't been here before. I'm gonna to go to structure, block layout, and then I'm going to scroll down to the content region and I'm going to click place block. Now we have content replacement, which is the view that we created. I'll click place block and let's set this up to display only for articles. And I'm going to unclick the display title and then I'll save block. All right, it's right here, right above the main page content. I'm gonna scroll down and click save blocks. And now if we go back to the site, we can see that on this page, we're seeing the title and a rewritten field. So now at this point, hopefully you get the idea, but probably what you'd end up doing was adding the body field. So you had the content here, you'd remove the title field and you'd move this block to below the title and tabs blocks here on the block settings page. And then you would hide all of the other fields from the default display. So basically you would have an empty page and the block would be taking the responsibility of displaying all of the fields. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and undo this by deleting the block. So I'll go to manage, structure, views, and then for content replacement, 
I'm going to delete it. And I'll go back to the site. And we're back to normal. 